Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. As you can see on your screen right there, uh, Disclosed.tv an hour ago, uh, putting out images there of uh, what appears to be the Pentagon is on, on lockdown after a shooting that occurred outside of the Pentagon. Uh, don't know exactly what's going on at this point as of yet, uh, as I said, and uh, but we will see if we can't find out some details about this. I uh, do apologize. We've been out of pocket the last couple of days there. Uh, we will be loading this evening another disclosure on Patreon, Israeli News Live, as well as uh, uh, we'll be doing a, a very special broadcast. It'll actually go on Patreon first, but I will end up releasing it here on Israeli News Live for you uh, within a day or so. Uh, an interview we're going to be doing with a good friend of ours there uh, talking about abductions. Uh, but anyway, uh, a lot of things that are going on, there is quite a bit of information that, uh, that's been made known to me recently. Uh, I haven't decided as to release it as of yet. I've been doing some research regarding this and also uh, more information about the plasma lightning storms that are coming. We're going to be having a lot of issues, friends, a lot of issues here. Uh, it's really going to begin to climax around 2023. Going all the way up to 2029 will be the peak year of things that are going to be happening on the earth. I, I want to, uh, to really break some of this down for you guys, but it's very sensitive information. And of course, the understanding of this is it, 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 very in-depth, uh, far more than what I could probably really uh, put out there. So anyway, uh, Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, just to give you that quick update, what's going on there. Also, another thing that's going on as well is there is a silent war taking place between the Egyptians and the ISIS militants inside of the Sinai Peninsula. In fact, there was a major uh, conflict that just occurred uh, yesterday. I don't know if that's been made public as of yet. But 89 uh, ISIS militants were killed in that exchange with the Egyptian government there. The Israelis have been also assisting the Egyptians in combating the ISIS militants in their country. Uh, at least that's, that's what I've been told. Who, who really knows? <laughs> it kind of makes you wonder, especially since we know who created ISIS. Uh, so think about that. Everything is in a global tailspin right now. And uh, just a lot of interesting things that are going on there. And, uh, you know, in fact, today I was on with John Moore, caught the last end of his broadcast there. And there was an interesting uh, debate between uh, Jeff Nyquist and uh, John. John's actually from Tennessee. In fact, John, if you would, I really would love to talk to you, brother. I know we've been trying to connect for a long time, uh, but uh, maybe put it, give me a way to contact you there. Um, if you would, John, just put uh, Steve, contact me on Israeli News Live at gmail.com. Send me an email so that I can get in touch with you. And uh, but also anyway, they were the big issue was about communism, the New World Order, and I couldn't help but as I listened to the, to the exchange between these two gentlemen, and listening to their different views there, the one thing that came to my mind was communism is nothing but a cloak for Zionism, uh, which is after all going to be the one world government. Uh, it is going to be a global thing, and that is going to be something ran by the fallen angels. But remember, Satan only gets a short time, so he's going to try to destroy as many as he possibly can. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live uh, later this evening. I said special broadcast here. It'll first air on Patreon. Uh, that will air also here on Israeli News Live. Uh, but uh, uh, And then, of course, I've got a disclosure that I need to share with our friends over on Patreon, Israeli News Live. God bless you. Thank you. Have a great day.